Hi, it's Phil Bedford here and welcome to Rebel Networker TV. Uh, today I'm in Big Bear, California with Stuart Emery. Um, Stuart Emery is the, one of the founders of the Human Potential Movement uh, and actually uh, one of the founders of EST, which later became Landmark Training. Um, Stuart, absolute pleasure. Finally to be here, we almost speak the same lingo. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. We better not start getting into humor. No, no, it won't work out. <laughs> so Stuart, one, one of your books was, um, was Who's in Your Room? Yes. I wonder if you can tell me a little more, a little bit more about that. Yep. And then lean it towards what we do, which is helping people grow their business right. through word of mouth. So we ask people to imagine that you live your entire life in this room, one room. It can be a lovely room, it can travel with you obviously, and the room's just got one door, which is no big deal except this is a one-way door. What that means is whoever comes into the room is there within your room forever. Now, if you knew that, would you choose more carefully? Now, we won't get into is that literally true. Actually, as far as the brain is concerned, it is literally true. Once they're in, the experience is in the little gray cells there forever. Mm. Now, so what we ask people to do is to live as though it were true. Because at the end of the day, the quality of your life is a function of the people in your life. So if you want to up-level your life, you've got to up-level the people in your room. And then, you know, the other side of it is not only who's in your room, but whose room are you in? Mm. So if I look at people who are spectacularly successful, people become great chefs or rock stars or very successful business people, what's true about them is that they've always gotten into the room of a great mentor. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-way street. Who's in your room? You've got to surround yourself with great people. And if you want to grow, you've got to be in a room with a great mentor or group of mentors. And what I love about what you folks do is you offer people really a room. Mm -hmm. You know, being in a chapter or being in a uh, one of these uh, referral groups, that's like being in a very special room where you with like-minded people, and that's the only way you can develop and grow. So it's a very powerful concept. So um, what, what you've touched on there is what I love is the fact that we, you know, we're showing people how to handpick those people from whichever network it may be, whether it's from a BNI chapter or from uh, your local knit knitting circle or whatever right. kind of network you're in, or you're just your best friends. Mm -hmm. So, what would be a tip you would have for someone who is thinking who could, who would that kind of person be? Well, the tip is you first you've got to figure out what matters to you, and and you've got to get your head and your heart aligned. Because mm -hmm. I, I watch guys particularly, you know, their head tells them. They got to do this thing, and their heart's not really into it. Mm -hmm. So you got to get this alignment. You got to sit down and say, "This is what really matters to me, and this is where I want to be in five years, doing something that's an authentic expression of me." Okay, now, who do I need to help me build that out? Who mm -hmm. do I invite into my room, or whose room do I get invited into? Mm -hmm. Because you know, too many guys say, "I'm all of this alone," right? Mm -hmm. And and. We're not all things to all people. We don't have all the skills we need to build out something we shouldn't expect ourselves to. But how do we have access to people to align with, to refer to, uh, people to refer us, so we can build something up with all of the skills and all of the assets and all of the resources we need to do that. But first of all, you've got to be clear about what really matters to you. You know, we did a book called Success Built the Last, mm -hmm. How to Create a Life That Matters. It's in 23 languages, and we interviewed people like Branson, Steve Jobs, uh, Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. Oprah, I mean, some serious players. Uh, Muhammad Yunus, who then won the Nobel Peace Prize, not because we interviewed him, but <laughs> because of what he'd done. But we, in that book, we go through how these people found what it is that they love to do and how they learned to be world class at it. So we're working on a another book now called Whatever You Are, Be a Good One because we find the most alive people. Because, you know, what do you want to do after you're born? People worry about is their life after death, who cares? Is their life after birth, that's the question. You've got to live fully alive. Mm -hmm. And we find people who are enduringly successful, find out what it is their heart wants to do, get their head aligned to that, learn to be really good at it. And, you know, they live lives that are a gift to the world, but they also live very successful lives in terms of resources and experience. <laughs> So choose people with your head and your heart. Correct. Perfect. Brilliant. Stuart, oh, thank you so yeah, much. Good. Let's go get some breakfast then. Okay, sounds good to me. Rebel Network.